Welcome everybody to Waterbox Wednesday. Super pumped, Rich man. I am. I'm telling you, fired up. <laughs> fired up today. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, we're talking about bacteria and we're talking about livestock. And this is the first time we're actually going to be putting livestock in our 100.3 build that we've been working on for so many weeks. I think we have a goodie box here today that we're going to get to show them live oh, on TV. But I'm not going to delve yes. into that until yes. after we watch our uh, uh, a few things here. Yeah. But, uh, Thanks. Super excited. Thanks for joining, guys. Woo! Today is going to be a very cool day for Waterbox Live. So Yeah, please, hey, share the stream, everybody. Follow us. Share it to all your friends because we're about to start the show. Keenan, let's roll. Let's roll. Welcome back, everybody. Listen to this edition of Waterbox Live Wednesday. But first things first, Rich. Yes. Back. First things first, I'm going to share the stream as you should. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. But listen, we're talking about bacteria. It's a very, very important topic in aquarium keeping. Um, the nitrogen cycle. Right. Um, Using bacteria to mm -hmm. cycle your aquarium and or prevent it. Absolutely, yeah. And then later on in this segment, we're going to talk about acclimating fish and we're going to show you a surprise box that showed up today this yes. morning so uh really really exciting so guys if for if you don't understand the nitrogen cycle um very very important basically ammonia levels nitrite levels nitrate levels they start rising uh when you first start an aquarium and it can right. get dangerous for for fish right so you're going to want to make sure your tank is fully cycled you can also use bacteria products and that's what we did in this scenario yeah, yeah. Uh, for me personally, I mean, you obviously want to use caution mm -hmm. with, when using these products because it's yep. not guaranteed that you're not going to get an ammonia spike. But right. uh, we decided to use this product, Dean. So tell them a little bit about this. We also have a short video for them as well. Yeah, so the Fritz uh, Turbo Start Saltwater 900. Um, this is uh, one of their flagship products. Super concentrated um, bacteria that basically you pour into the tank and within just a few days, man, this thing is ready to roll with fish and livestock. So uh, maybe we should do a couple shout outs um, of people who are watching. Christine, Patrick uh, says, hey, fellas. Bjorn, uh, Edward uh, says, hello, Richard. Christopher, Rob. Uh, hello, Edward. Rich's mic is low. So uh, what's up, guys? Greg it's says Probably because I was muted, possibly. Did I mute it's myself again? I'm possible. I like, to, I like to do that every <laughs> once in a while. So yeah. uh, That's what happens when you go live, everybody. So, yeah. uh, John, Greg, Jessica, Devin, everybody's watching today, man. We're super excited. Keenan, are you ready to start? I'm going to show you guys this little segment we did a few days ago about bacteria. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take a look. A stable biofilter is essential to the success of any aquarium. Fish and corals require a healthy balance of the right conditions in order to thrive. Since we're ready to add livestock to our 100.3 build, we chose to use the Fritz Turbo Start to get things going. Fritz Industries was the first company to grow and package true live nitrifying bacteria products for the aquarium industry. Fritz has three lab facilities across the U.S. that produce chemicals in lab conditions. They serve hobbyists as well as public aquariums with different strains of bacteria for every condition. The Turbo Start requires refrigeration when not in use and is truly, we believe, the best product on the market. Understanding the nitrogen cycle is key to a successful aquarium. Bacteria breaks down waste automatically in the aquarium. Ammonia from fish waste converts to nitrite, which then converts to nitrate. Once nitrate levels rise, it's necessary to lower these levels through either a refugium or macroalgaes, and anaerobic bacteria or performing a water change. It's always a good idea to add some supplemental bacteria after a water change. 
Since we're using dry sand and dry rock, it's very important for us to immediately add some livestock with the bacteria to establish the nitrogen process. The sand bed is crucial for bacteria since there's a tremendous amount of surface area for it to colonize on. Since we're using dry sand instead of live sand, the process takes just a, a little bit longer. But something to understand, the bacteria attaches to surfaces inside the aquarium and is not free floating. This means that performing a water change will not change the bacteria levels in your tank. Technology has made fish keeping extremely efficient and quick with bacteria's products like Fritz TurboStart. But learn to become aware of the tank conditions as sometimes nuisance allergies pop up. These can be easily fixed or prevented by bacteria and proper water conditions. Be sure to visit waterboxaquariums.com for more instructional videos and gear. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was a good video, Dean. Whoa. Very informative, and I'm wearing my Fritz sunglasses because we use a Fritz product. It's got me <laughs> thinking about Aquachella. Exactly, man. That was a great <laughs> show. Aquachella was fantastic. A uh, couple more shout outs. Rob says, let's go. Let's do it, Rob. David's giving us a thumbs up. Steven. Mitch says, what's up, guys? So, wow. I mean, so basically that bacteria. So we shot that video just a few days ago mm -hmm. um, because in anticipation for today. Right. So what we wanted yeah. to do is get those bacteria levels up mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that in the event of you know, ammonia and nitrite being created. Of course. There was something to absorb it so that we don't Let's injure see. this beautiful, these beautiful specimens that <laughs> showed up to us early this morning uh, wow. from our good friends at ORA. Wow. Guys, look at this. This is what I've been waiting for. It says right here, live fish, rush. Yes. This came next day air from next Fort Pierce, day ORA. Air from ORA. So you guys, you guys are in for a treat because you're going to get to see us take these things. We don't even know what's in here. Dude, we haven't even I'm looked at them. We're going to see all these. ORA um, sent us these little cool little We're going to see fish. Uh, what kind of fish they sent us yeah. live here on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. So and we're gonna stick acclimate. around for that. But yeah, man, this is, so this is real exciting, Rich. So yeah. definitely stay tuned for that. Um, if anybody has any questions, by the way, while we're here in the live stream, we're here to help you guys. Yes, of course. I mean, if you have any questions on acclimation or bacteria mm -hmm. or uh, just anything about water box, um, you know, we're, we're here. Patrick Burns says, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you. So uh, maybe we should go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's get these things opened up. Let's yeah, take a dude, look, let's, at let's look at them. Head on over to the, the 100.3, and when we switch over the shot, you guys see we have actually added some anemones to it. Because uh, I think there might be some pretty cool clownfish here in this this box here that Dean is going to acclimate for you guys. That and they got some pretty cool homes already waiting for them. Look at this. So, hopefully, can y'all can see me, right? So, uh, what happens, guys? So, some people go, "Can you actually ship fish through the mail?" Well, absolutely, you can. <laughs> so, we're using uh, they used FedEx to overnight this shipment, uh, which is really, really great. I'm gonna show you how it shows up, um, if you can. And, then, and Dean, this is how really any livestock uh, dealer that sells online is gonna ship to you. It's gonna exactly. be in an insulated cooler. Yep. They're gonna have heat or cool packs, depending on the temperature that the box is shipping to. Uh, this time of year, it's probably gonna be like ice packs. Yeah, so you can um, check that out. And then ORA sent us, this is our packing list here. Send us some cool stickers here we can actually put on the tank. Be really nice. We'll use them later. Um, yeah, there's uh, like heat packs in there. But you can see this is how the fish actually get sent. You can see that. So they're all bagged with oxygen, right, Dean? Yeah. So fully now, bagged. And it looks like they're using a little bit different method than some people. Are they, how are they sealing yeah, the top like of that bag? Yeah, it heat seal. Yeah, heat seal. Some people use metal clamps or rubber bands, but that looks pretty. Uh, yeah, and actually the water is, is still warm, which is really good. Um, and it actually tells us here, this is ORA, four water box aquariums, uh, the standard Oscillaris yeah. clamp. Now, now I think there's something that we should note, Dean. ORA, I don't believe ships directly to the consumer. So this isn't how a consumer would receive them, I don't believe. Yeah. So what, what is ORA? You know, let, let's let's maybe tell them a little bit about ORA. Um, 
the, these guys actually breed clownfish as well as other species, and they're constantly on the cutting edge of, of breeding new, new types of fish. Uh, they also do mariculture, and they do coral propagation. A uh, huge, huge facility up in Fort Pierce, Florida. So these guys have been around for a while. Jordan hooked us up. So we're going to show you some of these goodies, and we're going to acclimate. Uh, I mean, look at this. Wow. Look at that, Rich. You see that? Wow. Black Beautiful. ice. It's called black ice snowflake clownfish. So there's so many varieties of a standard clown versus a designer clown. You know, really, really neat. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, put these fish inside this little four-gallon water box, which is really great size for acclimating. So we've got a drip line that I've already prepared that's kind of ready, and we're going to slowly drip acclimate these fish uh, so we get the tank water to, to bring their water so it all kind of balances together. So, Dean, well, you have a cube four over there, it looks a cube like. Four. So, so yeah. we talked about using cubes for... Uh, acclimation, mm -hmm. or, I'm sorry, uh, the word's not coming to me right now, but we've talked about using them for multiple yeah, applications. Yeah, for quarantine and, tanks. Yeah, for quarantine, yep. and now you're using them for uh, acclimation, which is pretty cool. So Absolutely. Multiple uses, and that's a really great thing about the different sizes that Waterbox has. Oh, snap, look at this guy. A black Ocellaris. Hello wow. to Christine, hello to Juan. Juan says, bust them fishies out, boys. That's what we're yeah, doing, Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But look at these cool. So we're going to put all of these fish, and they're all going to be together. You can already see, when we're going to put these all together, this tank is going to be sick, guys. I mean, look, if you get this shot, Keenan, look at these nems that we put in here to this tank. This tank is going to be full of clownfish and anemones. Anemone and clownfish tank. So anemone and clownfish tank. I mean, tank. the movement and the color that's going to be in this oh tank is going to be goodness. sick. Ridiculous. Um, and I want to note, Dean, that yep. Jordan, you know, was very carefully selecting out these fish so that yep. he knew that they would go well together and be a good match when there's this Absolutely. many clownfish in an aquarium. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about acclimation. So, you know, the temperatures are going to have to be the same. You know, the, the pH levels, um, all the water conditions have to kind of come into balance and we want to bring them up very 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 slowly you know, I mean we don't want to just take the fish plop them in uh, because they're going to go into a shock so since and since these are all they're spent their entire lives literally in an aquarium they these aren't from the wild mm -hmm. uh, so they are kind of conditioned to, to tank water but uh, we still want to be real careful and make sure the conditions are just right so, I, want to, I want to mention, Dean, yeah. ORA has been doing aquaculture since 1996. And they're 96. also the largest marine ornamental hatchery in North America. So these guys know wow. what they've been doing. They've been doing it a long time. They're dedicated to some of the best aquaculture products for this industry. And the best part about it is it's sustainable. We're not pulling anything out of the ocean. So it's, it's a really good option when you're shopping for fish is to buy an aquacultured uh, fish. So definitely do a Google search, check out your local fish store. I know these guys have a massive network of local Huge. fish stores that yeah. carry ORA fish and corals. Because remember, ORA also aquacultures corals. Absolutely. Yeah. So they ship to dealers all over the world. So uh, you can get these clowns or if you like any of these uh, at your local fish store. Um, even some of the big online guys now are, are have these. Yeah, so if, so if you're in an area, as a lot of people are, that don't have a local fish store with these fish, I think you can go to a number. I think our partner, Live Aquaria, actually sells ORA sure. products. They do. So really, really great. And you can see here, and remember, the fish are going to be a little stressed out, man. They've been in a box <laughs> yeah, for been the in last a box for about 24 hours. 24 so. hours. So, so that's that's why this acclimation process that you're do, doing, doing, yeah. is so important. You're drip acclimating. You're getting them adjusted to this new water that's probably a little bit different than the water they're coming from. Absolutely. Um, so you want to make sure that that is done relatively slowly with a drip line for about an hour. So obviously, we're not going to stick Correct. around the entire time to acclimate these fish because. It's not very exciting, but you guys do get to see uh, these fish come in live. For uh, sure, yeah. Here on Facebook and, and YouTube. And what's really neat, whoa, Rich, look at this. Wyoming white. Oh, man. Ocellaris. Look at that. Wow. 
He's got the red face and his red fins, but the whole body's white, man. And Matias he, says, hey guys, Justin, uh, I thought clownfish did best in pairs or solo. Um, Justin, that is the case in a lot of scenarios, but again, ORA chose these fish because they traditionally do very well with each other um, in an aquarium together. Uh, Christine says, the black ice looks great. Yeah, so that Wyoming, look at that, man. That's Wyoming white. That was a killer fish. Oh, dude, look at this. Rich. Wait, this one is a domino oh my goodness. clown. Look at how cool that is. No stripes, literally just like a dot on his face. <laughs> that is killer, man. Look at that. Justin says, how many clownfish are going in? How many was it, Dean? Um... In this one is it 14? here, yeah, I think about 14, I think, or uh, so. Justin, we believe it's around 14 clownfish. Again, I want to stress the fact that ORA knows what they're doing. They put this many clownfish in tanks Come all on, the time. Lady. They make sure that you know, they make sure that they're of the similar species, right? Yeah, they're different a, patterns. A, absolutely. But if we were to put in a maroon clownfish with these, they would be fighting. Correct. Yes. Uh, so. We're making sure that they're all, you know, within the same species. Here's another one. Look at this one. This one says uh, premium snowflake. Look at the pattern on him. See how it's different than on a standard? Yeah. And these are like these designer clowns, man. These things are really Yeah, neat. they're bred. So for those of you just joining in, we're unboxing a shipment from ORA mm -hmm. here in Fort Pierce, Florida. They're the largest marine ornamental aquaculture facility in North America. And these are all captive bred clownfish and they're actually bred to look a specific way so as you can see they all look completely different which is really yeah. neat look at this one ora midnight wow Solid oh, is that completely black? black i have never seen that dean i've never seen i'm that. blown away that's hot look at that solid black clownfish wow that looks so if you guys if you guys have any questions sick. please make sure to post them in the comments i'm here watching them while dean is unboxing yeah. these beautiful, wow, stunning clownfish from yeah, ORA. Yeah, we should also tell you, I've been in contact with Jordan over at ORA uh -huh. uh, as we've been going along. He's been asking about, you know, the, the tank conditions. Right. Uh, he's been asking, you know, so he's... Right, because husbandry is really important for them. Very, we want to make sure that we're both on the same page and we're adding the correct type of fish to this aquarium. Look at this so. other one. A new, another Wyoming white. Look at this guy. Dude, this tank is gonna be ridiculous. I'm telling you, I am so excited. So excited. So uh, Bjorn says, in early October, he's gonna be able to admire our magic aquariums in Belgium. Um, I'm assuming right. that means he's bought one and he will have one in Belgium soon, so that's awesome. Jason says, wow. Look Jason also says, I love clown tanks. Jason, I love those too. Um, Naked. Juan says, how many clowns could you put in a 10 gallon water box reasonably? Look at this, a naked clownfish, Rich. <laughs> no Dude, stripes. Every time you pull a fish out of there, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, he's literally naked. He's no stripes. He needs to put his clothes on. He's missing, he's, put he, your clothes he puts, on, buddy. <laughs> needs to Come get on. his stripes back on. Come on, this is a PG rated live stream, Dean. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> that's right. Um, Wow. So, again, going back to what Juan said, how many clowns could you put in a 10-gallon? Juan, honestly, in a 10-gallon, I'd probably only put a pair. Yeah. Um, oh, Jason good. said, when acclimating the fish with a drip method is the best way, or are there other ways? Jason, so we like to use a drip method because it's very controlled and it's very slow, but you can also acclimate them in the bag. Yeah. Right, Dean? You, just you can. You could, yeah, you could temperature. You could kind of float these bags in the tank if you wanted. Yeah, and then slowly add slowly water add over water. an hour with a cup or something yeah. like that. So that's another method to do but it. But look at this, Rich. Black ice snowflake. Wow. Dude, the colors on these things are just awesome. I love this. So, man, super I mean, excited. So I said, how much should we... I don't want to know how much we paid for these, Dean. So just yeah, don't uh, leave worry that about out that. of the yeah, Don't worry about that. So... <laughs> But remember, guys, we're, we're putting them all inside this four-gallon tank, and then I'm going to now, once, once they're all in, I'll start taking this water and slowly bring it in here over the next hour. So, yeah, we'll, so actually, we'll fill that tank up to the top with yeah, the new water. For so sure. I'll probably completely... take some out. We'll fill it again. I'm going to keep bringing this water up mm -hmm. slowly so that these guys are real comfortable, and then we'll transition them right over with a net. What else we got here? Justin says, I love clownfish. They're the best. A black uh, ocellaris. A black ocellaris. 
Jason's asking, is there any black storm clowns in there? Hmm. I never even heard of that before. Yeah, but, I'm telling uh, you, this, I, I, there's I don't so know. many. It's unbelievable so how many breeds or different uh, kinds of clownfish have been created. Yeah. You can see them all in there, man. They're just chilling. Let's see what else we got. Gladiator, premium gladiator. Look at the pattern on this guy. Wow. Can you see that? That's beautiful. That is, dude, that's, I think that's my favorite right now. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Dude, so gladiator. I'm telling you, man. O-R-A is the king of clowns, man. Look at this. Yule says, Waterbox pre-order shipment finally arrived in South Africa, just waiting for clearance with customs. There you How go. How about that? Here's another Gladiator Premium. Look at this guy. Look, man, this is going to be your home. See that? That's going to be your new home right there. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, man, Rich, we're doing really They're good. We're lucky to have such a wonderful-looking home. Yeah. And a team of people that are going to take really good care yeah. of them. Yeah, so Rich, sure. tell them about the tank, their home. So what we're looking at, for those of you just joining us again, because there's over 100 people watching us right now. Wow. Um, we're showing you a box that ORA had sent us, and what tank they're going into is the Waterbox Platinum Reef 100.3. And what 100.3 means is 100 gallons and it's three feet long. So it's real easy to... And the last one here, Rich, is a premium snowflake. The ORA sent us. Okay, so we got two of those, it looks like. Look at those, man. The um, pattern is just awesome. So, 100 gallon build. We've been doing this build mm. live for over 12 weeks, probably. Yeah. Um, so, if you go back to our YouTube channel or Facebook, you can look back on this. But, 100 gallon system. We have, we're lighting it with the Ecotech Radeon XR15s. We have an Ecotech Marine MP40. Yeah, the pump. The flow. For and sure. the Ecotech Marine Vectra. M1 return pump. Absolutely. I mean, we're loaded Absolutely. up with ecotech. Yeah, this man. thing is really jamming. Uh, I said we ha we shut the skimmer off um, as the bacteria process is going, so we're not um, running that. But we will fire that back up once everything kind of gets going. But we've got the ATO system hooked up. I mean, from XP is, Aqua. XP Aqua. Dude, this um, tank. So we've been a waiting for this for such a long time. So we got all the fish in here, guys. Look at these. This whole little. Dude, I love it. I, I just love it. So here, we're going to drip acclimate these fish. So JP says, love the water box. Justin says, I'm so jealous. And Sean is asking if we would put a maroon with an ocellaris. Sean, I would say no. Yeah, that'd be no, 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 no. Maroons are historically or, or traditionally very aggressive. So you don't want to put them with ocellaris. So you can see, guys, I got a drip started that's coming in here, that's a little fast. So usually what I do is I kind of put a little knot in it to kind of slow down the, the, the process here. And I can just keep adjusting it accordingly. Yeah, but so that's you're about, controlling the speed with a knot. Yeah, so I'm controlling the speed of the siphon that's coming out of this tube into this tank. So I'm just gonna leave this kind of hanging out right here, Rich. And we're just gonna, you can see how it's just slowly bringing the water up. And we'll do this for about an hour. So I said, we're just gonna keep an eye on it. And uh, really, really good. And the little trick that Rich taught, if you had a little syringe like this, if you can see one of these little syringes, you could actually stick that on one end of the airline tubing and just mm -hmm. pull it. it well, yeah, what that does is it pulls air through the line. Right. And then you don't have to be, you know, sucking on salt water. Exactly. You can do it with your mouth, but yeah. So you know, that's a little bit But yeah, bit man, cleaner. these guys are chilling. They all look really healthy. I mean, ORA really came through for us. But man, this tank is going to be something else, Dean. Really, really exciting. Look at all them. We're going to fill this thing with bubble tip anemones, lots of clownfish. It's going to be. Yeah. That's it. And the beautiful. tank that it's going in. Wow. Wow. I mean, and plus, these NEMs aren't even open yet. I mean, when this guy opens up, he's going to be like the size of a huge dinner plate. You know what I mean? These things. And we're going to go get some more NEMs, too. So we're going to go around to the local fish stores, go look mm -hmm. for some NEMs. Justin uh, says, when do you all plan on getting the cleanup crew? So we do have, we already have a, a few in there. Yeah, I put a little, um, a couple crabs in there already. Yeah. Um, but we're going to start that pretty, pretty rapidly. 
yeah. uh, because as the algae starts to build, we need to make sure that that cleanup crew is in there, right. you know, jamming away. Rosario says, hello. So again, so, guys, if you have questions, yeah, post them in the good. comments. For those of you just joining us, we just got an amazing box of cultured ORA clownfish for this Platinum 100.3. ORA just killed it, man. I mean, yeah, just, I think I'm actually going to move my desk in front of this <laughs> tank. Maybe I'll get a, maybe bring my yeah. laptop in here. I'll work in here so yeah, I can watch these really, things. it's really, really fantastic. So, I mean, this thing is it's just one step closer to being yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah, so, I mean, super, really, really super excited. awesome setup. So, um, yeah, Kyle says, FYI, watch your salinity. You'll be dropping your salinity. Uh, taking about two gallons of your tank and having ATO getting adding back in fresh water. Um, that is true. Um, the water level will be slowly dropping, you know, in there. Right, but that's why we use an ATO. Of course. You, you know, because the fluctuation is only going to be very small. So very as, small. as long as you're using a, an auto top-off system like the XP Aqua, mm -hmm. the variance won't be two gallons. Yeah, and plus it's a hundred gallon system as well. So. Uh, the small amount that we're bringing out of there, it's, it's not going to affect it too much, mm -hmm. um, but we are going to check it. I do have that refractometer. Um, we're going to be monitoring that as well. Um, so really, right. really, really cool. But so, man, this is just, it's, I'm telling you, Rich, I've been waiting and waiting. I mean, it's like, it's, this is the big day. You well, know, you know, when you're, yeah. and going back, you know, when we are setting up an aquarium like this, uh, you want to make sure that it's done properly right. and that, that you have the, the right foundation to care for these animals. So it did take us some time. It, it took us over 10 weeks to, mm -hmm. to get this aquarium to the point where we want to put livestock in it. But um, you got to be patient. Nothing, fa nothing good happens fast, fast in a saltwater aquarium. Th that's absolutely, absolutely. So for anybody also that's asking, ORA, if you go to OR, orafarm.com, um, you can see all of their, their pictures of their facility and all of their different designer clownfish mm -hmm. and all the, the stuff they have. So orafarm.com mm -hmm. if you guys are interested in that. Um, also waterboxaquariums.com. Strongly suggest check out this 100.3. So the one the tank that we've been showing everybody, we've been working on, mm -hmm. it's, it's there. All the specs are on the website. Right. I mean, it's a great tank. It's three foot by two feet, uh, 22 inches high. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing is, man. It's one of my favorite tanks. I mean, it really is. So Rob on YouTube says, are the fish farm raised? Yes, they are, Rob. Their mm -hmm. ORA is all aquacultured. Mm -hmm. um, Tim's asking when his order will be shipped. That's a better question for customer service. So yes. if you email uh, su uh, support at waterboxaquariums.com, I'll yeah. get you, get you set Absolutely. Up. Also, somebody asked, what other fish can go with clown fish? That's, that's a, great, a great question. Um, yeah. Clownfish actually are very, are very big community fish. Um, yeah. Can go with just about anything besides a predator, um, pretty much. I mean, I've right. seen them even with, with trigger fish, um, they even can go okay, but uh, you know, dotty backs or uh, tangs. Um, I love reading some of these comments. Nims are like honey badgers that go where they want. Yes, the honey badger. <laughs> that's right. So that's another thing. So you know, the uh, nem might look great. You might want that nem to be, man, right on this one piece of rock. You wake up the next day, man, he's, he's somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, and that's, that's why yeah. we're going full nem, right? I mean, yeah. for the most part, with yeah. the exception, we might put some zoos and soft corals. Yeah, I, I might put some, some more kind of stuff in there. But a lot of flowy stuff that, that the clowns can really just mm -hmm. love. You know right. what I mean? So as you see, we're, we're just getting ramped up. I mean, I think when we check back on this tank here in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be looking very lively. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's going to be awesome. Actually, later today, maybe on Instagram, we'll show uh, some snap. We'll maybe go live and, and show you the, the, the clowns inside the tank. Yeah. Once we actually. Yeah. So for those of you watching, typically we do an a Instagram after show, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. For those on Instagram. So mm -hmm. we'll actually wait a little bit till these clowns are in there and we'll, we'll go live with that. Correct. Yeah. So, so um, and I said that, that drip. You want to, the drip acclimation should be kind of like, I would say, you know, uh, one drop per second or, or, or what have you, or maybe a little bit faster than that. You know, just, mm -hmm. a, just a, a nice, you don't want to stream, you know, you, you right. want it kind of dripping, you know, in there. So, yep. um, but yeah, I mean, everybody, said, uh, Hani says, looking good, guys. Um, and we appreciate everybody. So, I mean, this has been a fantastic Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
I always look forward to Wednesdays, man, especially around Waterbox. I mean, Waterbox right. Wednesday, come on. Yeah, so, so huh? Nick's pretty soon, we're going to start that 230 gallon build for them. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. We'll start releasing more information on that. Yeah, a lot of people um, have asked about that. They're saying, mm -hmm. hey, man, you know, what's up with that pro? Yeah. Well, yeah. we've got one. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to start firing that sucker up um, and just kind of doing a build on that pro 230. So very exciting. We're going to continue with the 100.3. We're going to continue with the cube. Uh, also, we're doing a, a rock nemi tank. Um, that we're, we're in the process of as well, mm -hmm. that's gonna be hot. So we got a lot of builds going. Mm -hmm. So constantly keep checking in with Waterbox uh, on social media so you can kind of follow along. Yep, and definitely um, check in next week for Waterbox Live. Again, it's at 12 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you this thing fully loaded up with clownfish and ready to roll. Of course, of course. Um, it says, Tyler says, what kind of aggression could you expect adding so many clowns with no hierarchy? Um, that's a good question. I actually had the same question uh, for ORA. <laughs> and he said, actually, when we're putting them all in at the same time, mm -hmm. that's the best way to do it. You yeah, know, so you're, you're removing that dominance. Correct, correct. And they're all about the same size as well. They're not, uh, we don't have you know, large males and small females or what have you. It's, uh, they're all the same size. They're all, they're all kind of, mm -hmm. they're all going in together. So it'll be okay. And uh, yep. so it'll be really good. Uh, Greg says, you guys are killing me. I can't wait for my 60.3 frack. That's right, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait for you to have it. Yeah, man. And uh, make sure you guys join the, the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Waterbox users and owners in there posting really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Like us on Facebook. We're trying to get to a million likes. We want the world to know about Waterbox. Hey, listen, man. Uh, so again, thank you guys for joining. Yeah, Waterbox Wednesday or Waterbox Live every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Yes, Eastern. Yes, yes. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Appreciate it.